we are going to continue with our how-to book that we will be writing. And we're going to continue working with the topic that we picked yesterday that we drew pictures for, or a couple days ago. So you are going to need your how-to booklet. So it looks like this. It has, it's stapled and it has how-to on the front. And then it has three pages that look like this. So you are going to have this booklet and you are going to add what you know how to do. So I said how to make scrambled eggs. So I'm going to do how to make, well, this should all be capitalized because it is a title. So make scrambled eggs. And then you'll put your name on it and tell us who it is by. So, we are going to be focusing on the inside pages today. So the pages that look like this, because we are going to be stretching our images across the page. That means we're gonna be taking the pictures that we drew already, and we are going to make them a little bit more detailed and we're gonna label them. The labels help the reader or the person who you are teaching know exactly what they need because sometimes our drawings aren't always going to get the reader to totally understand everything. So in these pages, you have these little boxes. So this little box is for what number step it is. So for this one, this is step number one. If you look at this paper also, it has our transition words of first, next, last. So I'm going to add that here. So I remember that this is my first step. And we're not going to do any writing today. Again, we're going to do the pictures, and then we're going to start writing next time. So the only thing you're going to need to write is first. So then I'm going to take the pictures that I drew, and I'm going to make them a little more organized. So I'm going to add detail that I would write about in my book. So when I make scrambled eggs, I usually only use two eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to draw two eggs. And so these kind of just look like ovals. You can make them into eyes. You could do anything with them. So I'm going to make sure that I label them as eggs. Maybe I want to draw it a little bit bigger so our reader can see. So those are my eggs. And like I said earlier, I need a bowl and a whisk. So our reader might not know all the tools that you need, and yours might say something a little different or look a little different. So I'm going to just label everything. So that's a bowl, and this is a whisk. And that way my reader knows. Then I also need some butter, like a big stick of butter on a little plate. And I'll write butter here. So we are really sure that we have everything that we need. And then the last couple things we need, we need a frying pan. And we need a spatula because I like to move my eggs around while they're in the pan so they don't get burnt or too crispy. So pan and spatula. And so these labels just help our reader know what they need. So let me write this down here so there's a little more space. Since this is in your how-to booklet, you are going to make it colorful. So I'm going, eggs are just white on the outside usually. Sometimes they're a little bit brown, so maybe I'll make my eggs a little bit brown. Because you could have white eggs or you could have brown eggs. Just depends on the kind of eggs you buy. Then you have a bowl. Butter is usually pretty yellow. I'll make my bowl red, just to give it some fun color. Maybe it's red on the outside and white on the inside. The pan, my pans at home are pretty dark. So they're black on the outside and inside, but I'm gonna make them gray on the inside so you can still see 
that it is a pan. And then my spatulas that I have are also black. So yours might be something different, but this is also going to be a totally different writing for you possibly. So you're going to make sure your pictures look really good. So I'm going to continue doing the same thing on all three pages with the pictures that I have from the day that we drew our original pictures. So I'm gonna say that our next pictures are a little bit more detailed than they were, than the first one when we were just gathering supplies. So this is my second step, and I'm gonna write next to remind me that that's where we are right now. So I'm still gonna have my bowl And some eggs and I'm gonna draw the stove here so I know exactly what I am supposed to be doing so we have one, two. and this one's gonna be where my frying pan is today it's okay if your pictures are a little bit different today than they were the other day And so I need to crack my eggs. So I'm going to draw them right next to the bowl because there's two eggs. And I'm going to draw a crack in them so we know that that's what we're supposed to be doing. And then I'll have my whisk in the bowl. And I'm going to still label just to make sure my reader can tell what I've drawn. So we'll make our whisk have a little bit longer of a handle. So I'm going to have crack eggs and whisk and then pan on stove. So I still added those labels just to make sure that my reader really knew what they were looking at. And then I would color it and make it look beautiful, just like you're going to do. And then for the last page, but I won't make you guys watch me color, you're going to put step three, and you're going to write last, because this is our last step. And then I would draw a more detailed picture than this and label what's happening. So you're pulling putting the butter, melting butter, pouring eggs in the pan, moving them around, and then you put your eggs on the plate. So I would have my eggs, my butter, my pan that I just drew really big. I'm still going to use some arrows just to help my reader know exactly what to do. So melt butter. And I'm going to have pour in eggs. And then I'm going to draw the scrambled eggs in my pan. So I'll label that scrambled eggs. And then I'm going to do one more arrow. And that's when I put my scrambled eggs on my plate. So I'll put eggs on plate. And my scrambled eggs should be pretty yellow, so I'm going to color them yellow. And then my butter is going to be kind of yellow. And then I would color my stove, my pan. I'll have my spatula in here too because that's what I like to do. I like to push my eggs around using my spatula. And then you're going to do the same thing with yours. Whatever topic you choose, you're going to sketch out 
your pictures across all three pages and you're making them a little bit more detailed and labeling them so your reader knows exactly what they are looking at. We're going to take this next time and we're going to start writing so these pictures will really help us when we're trying to form those steps.